What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sarah Jane. I run a Facebook ad agency called Secure Social, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up UTM parameters or URL tracking for your Facebook ads. So the reason this is so important is because a lot of the time, Facebook can be a little bit temperamental and you can see inconsistencies in the revenue that was actually generated from the ads versus the revenue that you're seeing in the actual ad manager. So what a URL parameter or UTM tracking is, is attaching a little bit of a string of code to the end of the URL of the thing that you're selling to allow you to track where your traffic is coming from and how much revenue is generated from any one ad. So I have a dummy add a dummy page set up here so I can show you exactly how I build it for my clients and how you can use it as well in your um, Facebook ads to be sure that things are being accurate. So what you're going to want to do is essentially set up your ads as you normally would and then you're going to insert the URL for whatever you're selling. So if this is a product or whatever, whatever, just put your URL inside. Then you're gonna see this little blue button that says build URL parameter, and this is where the magic happens. So for campaign source, they have a bunch of pre-filled things here, but you're actually gonna put Facebook ad, and it's very important that you put that emphasis on the Facebook ad piece um, because what you'll see in a couple of seconds is when you actually go into Google Analytics, they do track traffic and revenue that comes in through Facebook directly, but not via Facebook ads. The next thing you're going to do for the campaign medium is you're going to put CPC. Um, this is paid advertising. We'll say cost per click. It is what it is. We're just going to put that there as well. When you go to the campaign name, this is when things get a little bit more granular. So what I like to do is I like to add the ad set name here. And this little thing is just telling you that if and when you set a UTM or URL parameter, um, if you change it subsequently in Google Analytics, it will be the same way that you set it the first time around. Um, so it's important to kind of set up a system for yourself and your media buyers or when you're running ads so that you know that you keep the same format for all your ads so there's no confusion in the campaign content section that's where we like to put um oh i'm lying we like to put the campaign name here and then in the campaign content section, we like to do the ad set name as well. And so this is fine, but this will only allow you to track what comes in from a specific campaign and a specific ad set. What if you want to go granular and track from a specific ad? And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click add parameter. And so we you have to name this yourself. And so what we like to do is we like to use a identifying factor of the ad. So if it's a video ad or if it's a GIF or things of that nature, we just like to put something generic so we know um, what it is. Um, so we might do video ad. It's important not to stress too much about this because in the value section, that's where we'll actually put the ad name. So this is really important that you name your stuff correctly. You have your um, naming conventions down pat. So once that's done, all you'll do is press apply. And there you'll see it right here. It has added on some the information that we essentially put in here onto this end of the URL. So if and when someone purchases through this link from the ad, you'll be able to track it in analytics. So right now we're in a Google Analytics account of a client that I currently manage. And so in order to check the UTM or the URL, where do we go for that? So you first go to the left-hand side and you press acquisition and you'll wanna go to all traffic and then source medium. After that, boom, right there, you can see that the things we set up, Facebook ad slash CPC is here, and you can see how much revenue was generated and over time and what it can be attributed to. If you don't set up UTM tracking or URL parameters, what tends to happen is some of the traffic that comes to your Facebook ad can either be attributed to direct, meaning someone directly came to the website, or what you'll see here is 
Facebook referral. And that's not necessarily the case. It's very different if someone buys from an ad versus if someone buys um, organically from a Facebook post. And so that only allows us to see, okay, this came from Facebook ads. But if you really want to get granular and find out, okay, but where did the actual, what ad actually worked best? You can just go to campaigns and click all campaigns. And the same type of thing will show up. It will literally attribute to which ad actually generated the sale. And so that's how we set up URL parameters or UTMs to make sure that we are accurately tracking the revenue that comes in from a Facebook ad.